uh, well, maybe I should just check the, uh, you know, pop the hood and check that cardboard in there and make sure that carpet, because you got to have that cardboard blocking most of the radiator. Not to, to do that. I mean, Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Deerman. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Friday, January 17th. All cold, snowy, blowy January 17th. And how is everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing fine. If you guys would, please go ahead and hit that uh, like button. And also, if you want, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And I uh, really appreciate that. And so what am I up to right now? Well, um, I called down to the, called to the, talked to the mechanic at the new auto dealership because it's tractor and last night's video was having a problem. Well, anyway, this morning I, I come out to, um, oh, I gotta go back to the shed and plug the other tractor. Um, I come out here to the sh shed to start it up and everything works. Everything's working fine. No problem with the loader. Uh, it says I'm sitting in the seat. So, yeah. And we actually were. We were going to take it over to another guy's shop. Another big, another New Holland guy. He, uh, he runs it on a side. He, he's a grain farmer for a side business. He runs the, uh, he does a truck repair business. Um, just a local guy just a few miles down the road anyways so um, they were we were originally we were going to take it over there and then they were going to look at it in the shop they said they might if, if they thought maybe there was a wire cutting the seat down here that i'm sitting on and they thought maybe they're gonna have to take the seat out but they wanted to do it in a warm shop and not have to take it all take it down there because like it's about like 20 miles to the dealership and it's kind of crummy out today and probably be best to take it to the semi but they probably can't get it out of the semi to take it so that's what we were going to do was take it over to that guy's shop have him work on it in there someplace where it's warm but now now that it's to work and i are not going to have to but uh, one thing i do need to do is uh, the engine isn't necessarily getting as warm as it should i think the cardboard fell down in front of the radiator so i'm going to have to uh, pop the hood i'm going to go up to the yard and pop the hood and then, the, and then the, the dealer said, and the mechanic said, you know, we probably should just drive this thing down the road and give it a good workout. So I'm gonna drive it, you know, get that, drive it down the road and get a good workout. Kind of get the temperature up there a little bit and stuff, so. So anyways, uh, that's what we do here. I gotta go plug the tractor in, so. Uh, hope it's gonna work. He told me down here, if I can get you guys down here, there's a hookup. This wire right here, he said this is where the wires are. He said there's a way you can bypass it. He said you gotta hook the, the pink and the yellow wires together and then uh, you can bypass it and then it will work, so yeah. And if you notice I'm wearing my glasses today, I am about out of contacts. Uh, and well, I have two left, but I was gonna save them for tomorrow when it gets really windy. Um, so yeah, you'll be seeing me wearing my glasses. I have to go get a new eye exam here <laughs> So I can get some more contacts. I can't order more contacts because my prescription is expired. Ah, go figure. So I have to get an eye exam next week or something. So Yeah, so that's why if you see me wearing my glasses more, that's why But anyways, I gotta go plug the tractor in and we'll get going with this thing and see what we could find uh, get the temperature, get the cardboard fixed up there so we get the engine temperature up there. I guess to change my mind, I think I'm just gonna pop the hood up out here because I can do it out here, I guess. So, uh, and that, not only that, but it's not windy in here, so I'm gonna pop it up and uh, check the cardboard situation in front of the radiator.
Oh, boy. Okay, back out in the shed. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> the weather outside is kind of frightful. <laughs> yeah. You know, the weather forecasters, they didn't say anything about their, that there was supposed to be a blizzard today. I mean, they said Saturday there was supposed to be a blizzard, but not Friday. Not today. Those weather forecasters, they get, uh, they get a lot of things wrong. So, yeah, the wind's blowing pretty good out of the south. But like I say, tonight it's supposed to switch to the northwest and be very strong winds. Very dangerous conditions, very dangerous wind chills, everything. It's going to be a regular blizzard. So anyways, um, I'm going to get this thing started back up again. I'm going to get this thing warming up and then we're going to get the chains on here. I got to go up to the other shed to get the, the bottle jack so we can jack this tractor up to get the chains on. That's kind of how we do it. We jack it up, spin the wheel, spin the chains on the wheels so we can turn the wheels. And then, uh, then we're going to get that thing hooked up to the snowblower. So we're just going to wait to start this tractor for now until we get the uh, snow or the chains on the, the tractor so and yeah and, and I and the other thing too I got to do is put some fuel in that thing don't want to run out of fuel so that's what we're going to do here Okay, we got the snowblower hooked up. Uh, this one little thing, well, and we got the chains on too, but there's one thing we gotta do here yet. Uh, we gotta take a lot. There's something we gotta cut off with the torch here on the snowblower, because we had um, that one welding guy weld something on there last year, beef it up a little bit, so uh, we gotta take it out to the shed and cut something off with the torch. And got to pound some pin on the PTO back in so the PTO don't come off. <laughs> oh, we'll be using that snowblower after tomorrow. Well, we might even be using it today. So it's not just going to be tomorrow or the next day. So, yep, it is going to be fun the next few days. I mean, it is, it's going to be nasty tomorrow. Even it's going to be worse than today. Boy.
just had to adjust something on the snowblower there quick. And uh, the, I'm having some trouble with the PTO shaft, that one pin getting lined up for my brother. He's gonna, he's gonna just blow a path down the hill here quick, but he's gonna try anyways. There he goes. It's working. It's working. Okay, just got done feeding the, well, feeding that lot. We call the north lot. Anyways, my brother, he was, he was making the last pass or whatever with and he said the hydraulics quit working on this thing again so uh, my guess is probably the stroke control valve right there and uh well, i'm gonna have to de-stroke the pump i don't know why but apparently the stroke control valve must be getting a little sticky on this thing so maybe sometime we're just going to have to take the hydraulic pump off and get a rebuilt one or something. Or just redo the stroke control valve housing. Something like that. So, so I'll see if I can get it here. Okay, I got the de-stroke the pump and it it worked again. I'll, just like when that stroke control valve thing sticks, you've got no hydraulics basically on the tractor. So, yeah, we're gonna have to look into that and maybe see if we, we can get done. But I gotta get back to the feeding here, and it's still snowing. Can you guys see that there's a snow drift up there right in front of me? No. I can't even see it either. <laughs> it's up, the snow drift is as deep as it's up the top of those tires, the tires of the loader tractor there. And it's like you can't even see it. It's just so, it's just so white everywhere. You just you can't make out what's what. I'm trying to get over to the, uh, the haylage bay. <laughs> oh, goody, goody, goody. It's just all fun games here today. Oh, I can't wait till this stupid system is out of here. Oh boy. One more day to go. One more day. snowing out oh, to misting out my glasses were getting all full of mist do you guys get covered in mist I can't see a little bit maybe <laughs> oh man so anyways I just got done taking the feeder waking up to the yard had to come back and load her I just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna get stuck driving right through here I just barely made it through there. Oh, I don't want to take the snowblower through here another day. Oh man. Oh, I don't know. I mean, man, I am ready for winter to be over. We basically got two months of winter left. <laughs> two months. 
<laughs> two months too long. Out here in the machine shed um you just saw a little bit ago i was uh well, we just got done feeding in the barn let's get the feeder wagon parked here and uh yeah so i thought i'd just finish up the video out here in the shed and uh um it did quit snowing out the wind is still blowing out of the southeast but after midnight it's supposed to switch to the northwest and it is gonna really blow like i said earlier up to 50 mile an hour wind gusts so it's gonna be howling it's supposed to clear off it's just that it's just gonna be a ground blizzard pretty much so so um i know tomorrow we might see how much snow depends on how much it drifts in places we might have to use a snowblower just to get get around so we could do the, the the feeding chores that may be about it but other than that we're not going to move too much more i don't know what the milkman's going to do he did come last night which was Thursday night he came, and so we'll see. We can hold like five, we, we can hold maybe six milkings in our tank, so we'll see. But uh, other than that, probably not gonna be, we'll be moving more snow on Sunday, we'll be, cause it's supposed to be calm on Sunday. So that's when we'll be moving all the snow, so. Yep, so the snowblower works. And hopefully the tractor, that stroke control valve doesn't get too sticky, I don't know. And one other thing I got done here too is I jacked up my tractor so I get this I get this wheel bearing taken care of get the thing off and replace that and I just put the jack stand under it just to hold up because we might need that jack and just in case we need it for something else if we don't we'll leave it here if we do we do so anyway so we're making some progress in that but uh, yeah but the biggest thing is at least we got the snowblower hooked up and we can use that now so it's good to go so i wish we had that thing on us on a, a snowblower that matched that tractor that would be nice oh man that'd be nice you could really move snow with that thing <sighs> but i guess this is better than no snowblower yeah, and i gotta take a look at this thing I got this thing here for it. This thing is making a squeaking noise on here. I think the fan motor is getting a bearing must be going out on it. So I'll have to look at that. So always something to fix around here. Never there's never something that does not need to be fixed. So so anyways guys, that's about it. And I guess tomorrow it's just gonna be a windy day. <laughs> So, so anyways guys thanks so much for watching watch this video hope you enjoyed it if you, um, please if you have any questions drop down in the comment section below and don't forget to check me out on instagram and twitter at organic Gaming. and uh have a good night everybody take care and if you're someplace warm i hope you stay or excuse me if you're someplace cold in a cold climate i hope you stay warm so anyways guys have a good night take care and I'll catch you later.